Assalamu alaikum dear friends, I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching Saifullah engineer at site youtube channel. So dear friends, today I am going to show you how to read the structural sharp drawing for a beam. In this video we will discuss the layout on the base of that layout I will show you the location cross section log section of the beam, uh, joint of beam and column and also more and more detail about the shop drawing. So let's start the video. As I told you, whenever you open the drawing, first we have to see the general notes. Here you can see the general notes, all the general notes. Here I told you about all these general notes in the previous video. Like all the dimension will be in millimeter. Drawing must be in conjunction with the architecture and other engineering drawings, compression strength of the concrete, yields strength of the bar, bearing capacity for soil footing, column, beam and slab. So here you can see M35 mean max of 35, the M35 mean the compressive strength of the concrete should be 35 MPa. Here are the legends, here you can see SOG slab on gate, TOS top of slab, TOB top of beam, BOF bottom of footing, NGL natural ground level, TOF, TOF, top of parapet, TOB top of grade beam. Standard concrete cover detail for footing we will uh, use the concrete spacer or concrete cover block 7.5 cm per column, 4 cm per beam, 3 cm per slab, 2 cm. This is the left lane detail and how you will find the left lane, left lane from? this formula you can find the left inland detail 15 multiply by diameter of the bar standard hook detail here you can see detail dimension hook arg and by this formula 4d you can find the hook length of the for any structural member and this is the one of my viewer asked me a question how to find this l L for a column or for a beam or whatever the structure. So here you can see 12 multiplied by D. D mean diameter of the bar. You will multiply diameter of the bar by 12. So you will get this length. So guys, after this, when you study the general loads very well, so you have to go to layout. This is the layout. These are grids grade a grade b grade c grade d grade e and x is one two three now here you can see rb1 root beam one dimension of root beam one is two meter multiplied by 45 centimeter 45 centimeter sorry 20 centimeter 20 centimeter multiplied by 45 centimeter okay here this is the root beam one so root beam 1 it means that all root beam 1 will has a same detail here you can see also root beam 1 root beam 1 root beam 1 20 multiplied by 45 root beam 1 but here we have some two concealed beams so the concealed beam their detail will be different here you can see its dimension is also different 20 multiplied by 30 centimeter here you can see root beam 1 20 centimeter multiplied by 30 centimeter and the length of the beam will be 4 meter. So after this, here you can see this is a roof beam 1. For the roof beam 1, we will see the cross section and the long section detail. But first of this, we have to see, we have to check the schedule. From the schedule, you will find uh, which type of bar will be used in the beam and its length and diameter. So here you can see mark rb1 root beam 1 20 multiplied by 45 centimeter and concealed beam root beam 2 20 multiplied by 30 centimeter bottom bars and both beams will be used 20 diameter 20 diameter bar will be used in both beams and two numbers two number will be used in bottom and here you can see also two number will be used in top bars so it means that in both beams rb1 and rb2 top bars and bottom bars will be two two number and diameter for the bar will be 20 mm now here we will see still 
in this beam there will be no sidebars and now stirrups in left span 0.25 span we will use in both beams 10 dia steel for stirrups and spacing between two stirrups will be 12.5 centimeter and the middle space span we will use 10 dia stirrup and the space between two stirrup will be 15 centimeter and the right span same where we, which we use in the left span so we will use that in the right span 10 dia uh, 10 dia mm steel bar for the stirrups and the distance between two stirrups will be 12.5 mm so now let's come here you can see root beam one on the axis are b and c so for this we will check the detail root beam one grade b c so here you can see long section of root beam one along grade one this is grade one and here you can see grade x is b and c so now just i will zoom it now you can see maybe clearly yes so here two bar will be used and the top diameter of the bar will be 20 and the length for the bar will be 7.195 7195 millimeter and this is the shape of bar this shape of bar will be used and the top number of the bar will be 2 and the diameter of the bar will be 20 mm here you can see 2 20 mm dia bar will be used in the top and the same bars 2 2 number of bars 12 20 mm dia will be used in the bottom and the length will be 4350 mm but here the shape of the bar will be not same as like the top bar it, this shape of the bar will be like this so here the length of this area will be 15 centimeter and the remaining length will be to 4.2 meter so guys as you know that top bar will be two bars and 20 diameter shape will be like this and the bottom will be also two bars 20 mm dia but the shape will be this now here check now this for the stirrups arrangement of stirrups stirrups diameter will be 10 and 150 center to center distance it means that between the centers between this stirrup and this stirrup will be 15 centimeter or 150 mm so here from this area this stirrup to this area stirrup the stirrup which we will use this is a mid span of the beam so here the, all the stirrups spacing will be 15 centimeters now let's count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so 11 number of stirrups will be used in the mid span spacing between the two stirrups will be 15 centimeter center to center distance now the remaining like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 stirrups here and 8 stirrups will be there here you can see 16 stirrups distance as a diameter for the stirrups will be steel will be 10 mm and the distance between the two two stirrups will be 12.5 centimeter or 125 mm so air stirrup will be used here and air stirrup will be used in this one meter one meter and both uh, left side and right side stirrups spacing between two steps will be 12.5 centimeter 12.5 centimeter so this was the, the detail for the beam from on the x is one from b to c you can see and from this here the another beam will be started from c to d and here i will tell you show you something more length from b to c you can find here from b to c the length of the beam will be four meters so friends in this video i show you the detail for the this beam so for the remaining beam you can find in this drawing also but if i try to discuss all the beams so the video will be go too longer and it will be not possible 
for you to watch the full video so this was just give you a general idea to how to read the structural drawing for the beam so from b to c we i show you the detail and i discuss you after that let me show you the now you can see this is the cross section see bottom bar two bottom bar 20 dia top bar two bar two top bars 20 dia and this is the stirrups so for the mid span okay 10 mm dia bar and the distance between two stirrups will be 15 centimeter here you can see the height, the height will be 45 and the width will be 20 this is for the mid span now for the end span same bottom bar two bar two bottom bar of 20 mm dia top bar two top bar of 20 mm dia 10 mm dia stirrup and distance between two stirrups will be around 25 center to center and the same with the same dimensions now let me show you the column and beam joint here so here i will show you this is a column and this is beam one and this is another beam so and this is the joint between column and beam so how you will see the details so let me show you column this is the column detail so for the column reinforcement and stirrup size and whatever you need to see for the column you will get this from the column schedule and for this you have to study the column shop drawing so in next video i will tell you how to study shop drawing for a column and here from this area you can see class b splice see the tables now here 10 the stirrups which will be used in this area will be 10 uh, diameter and the space between two stirrups will be 100 10 centimeter okay now this is the bar confinement strength stirrups so the stirrups which will be used in this area are this area of the beam are called confinement confinement space so the stirrups which will be used in this area will call confinement stirrups our confinement ties in this area here you can see for this the 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 rings which you are using in the beam is called stirrups and the, the rings which you are using in the column is called ties so this area in the column called confinement space and the this area in the beam is called confinement space so the stirrups which will be used in confinement space will be called confinement stirrups and the ties which will be used in the confinement space of the column will be called confinement ties for a confinement ties you have to see the column schedule which is in the column shop drawing here in this area you can see these two bars these two bars are called dowels bar dowel to match size and number of column bars and for column and uh, number of column bars we have to see the column schedule so these two bars are called dowel bars which will be used in the column in the joint of column and beam section this is called top of grad beam two uh, here we will use two ties here you can see this two ties two ties of 10 mm tie bar 10 mm dia bar so guys this was the shop drawing for a beam i just want to give you a general idea how to read the structural shop drawing for a beam here you can see also this is the section for a bar spacing so here you can see first layer of bottom bar continuous corner bar remaining bar continuous of extra bar symmetrically placed this the first one is the first layer the second is the second layer how many bar you will use here so you can study one one two three four five in the first layer you will use five bars in the second layer you will use three bars here the same thing second layer and first layer here you can see web bars the web bars so here we will use in this area the web bars its diameter will be 12 mm uh, web bar will be used on each space ef mean each space at the rate of 30 vertical 300 mm 30 centi the space between two bars will be 30 centimeter vertical spacing 
and the diameter of the bar will be 12 mm and the, the bars which will be used in this area is called web bars on each page so here you can see these are sorry here you this bar you can see it these are called web bar so guys if you have any question related to this video and the shop drawing for a beam so you can ask me in the comment section i will try to give you answer for your question and if you want to contact me so please contact me through instagram because some questions are not be able to answered in the comment section so for that you have to contact me through my social network instagram facebook linkedin and you will get the links for my social networks from the description of the video and also from the about section of the channel and if you have any question any confusion about this video so ask me the question and i will give you the answer inshallah if you are a new viewer so please subscribe to our youtube channel like the video and share it with your friends so thank you so much for watching the video.